Yes, sure. And so now we discuss about uh, volcanoes, which are very important uh, features on the Earth's crust. So usually, uh, volcanoes are you know looks like a mountainous part where you will find a vent. Vent is nothing but the mouth part, which is you know on the top where your magma, the molten stuff. It's, this is the magma chamber. So usually you will find the magma chamber from the mantle, touching is the mantle and this is the crust, if I, you know, this is the crust and this is the mantle as we uh, learnt in the earlier classes about the three layers. So from the mantle side, the molten material, molten rock material, which is very, very hot, it's pouring out from the lava in the form of, you know, sometimes ashes sometimes some small fog, you know, and this central part where you are getting that vertical uh, out, you know, uh, that lava is erupting out is central vent, is nothing but central mouth also you can uh, imagine, it's a central vent. And from the sides where you will find the weak cracks, you have, you know, also some part of magma is also erupting from the sides called side vents. So these uh, smoke, you know, sometimes once if it is becoming cool on the Earth's crust, will become solid, called Earth's, uh, you know, new crust also you can also uh, say. So if it is uh, forming that rock metal, sometimes you'll find the bombs, you know, the boulders also will come when it is very active. It will throw out from here and there. So this active volcano sometimes give, give bombs also the volcanic bombs we call and volcanic ashes and when these uh, magma when it's coming out is called lava and this lava when it becomes cool over the time and will become a rock solid rock material so this solid rock once it's cooled down you see this ashes you know also sometimes will fall on this molten and you will get a rock with a different colors which is you know uh, the fluid rock material is becoming solid and also ash parts which are you know pumped out will fall on this rock find some sort of particulars on the rock material so these rocks are called igneous rocks the first formed rocks a primary rocks are called igneous rocks Sometimes what happens, when the magma inside, it will cool down due to some uh, pressure and temperature and will become rocky material. This kind of landforms usually we call as intrusive landforms. So intrusive landforms are nothing but that magma which is inside the volcano is becoming solid without coming out of the this vent any side vent or central vent it's becoming solid in, in itself so this kind of uh, landforms we call as intrusive landforms when it's coming out and becoming rock material like for example we got uh, igneous rocks the first form rock are extrusive landforms so here we have a landforms like extrusive landforms and intrusive landforms. The best example of uh, active volcano which is now the present time you can see the active volcano having this kind of features uh, you will find in Mediterranean Sea called Stromboli volcano which is in the Mediterranean Sea. So this is very active. Even now you can see the volcano having this kind of features forming all these ashes and all. But it's very hot place to uh, reach nearby this volcano. So sometimes what happens this uh, magma uh, chamber will also will come where there's a weakened earth crust uh, called we you know fissures. Sometimes without volcanic you know this thing it will come out of the fissures where the weak uh, structures are there. So all plateaus. For example, Deccan plateaus like Hyderabad and Andhra Pradesh is mainly you know 
formed uh, due to the Deccan Plateau as we call Deccan because this part is, is uh, formed in this the fissure form. The magma entered and the fissure where the weak zones so you that lava is coming out of the fissures. So this uh, features are called Deccan plateaus are formed again from the fissures from the small cracks on the earth's crust. Yes friends now we discuss about the, the Pacific ring we understand about the Pacific ring of fire so usually we have a volcanic zone you know along the continents under the Pacific Ocean so for example, as we know that from Asia, we calculate, you know, from the Middle East and the North America, South America, usually we see the globe inside like this. If we take the, the other side and uh, if we see the globe in the other part, like if you take from Asia to North America, why we won't calculate the time, why we won't travel towards, you know, from east to, uh, towards east, why? So this is because of Pacific Ring of Fire, where you will find active volcanoes in this zone. Once if you feel, if you go like this, sometimes you won't, uh, uh, you know, reach the, the, your destination because of this, the very active volcanoes are here around. This is nothing but we call as a Pacific uh, ring of fire where you will find very active volcanoes, very active zone. So the reason why we travel only from, you know, from uh, west to, uh, towards west. 